okay in this video i will explain the uh, types of the limit gauges in the early in the previous video i, uh, I would have just elaborate the what are the different types of the limit gauges here we are uh, according to the type we are having a standard gauges and the limit gauges so the standard what the standard gauges will explain means uh, if, if why we are not using the standard gauges in the industries because of what it is made up of an exact copy of the dimensions to be checked then such gauges are known as standard gauges nothing but what if the gauge is made up of an exact copy of the dimensions to be checked so it is not, if, if it is uh, if if we are made it for the exact copy of dimension it is not usable for the some other uh, dimensions so why we are using the limit gauges means these are according to the limits of the dimension of the components which is to be tested it is made uh, we are manufactured the limit gauges so for that reason uh, so uh, the limit gauges are widely used in the industries and uh, the uh, this type of gauges cannot be used to check the interference bit so so the standard gauges are what we are not using in the industries and it is not uh, used to check the interfer interference fit also so so in the, in the limit gauges they were having a two limits of dimension and two different gauges are used to check the each dimension so we are using a limit gauges and then according to the purpose we are having a workshop gauge inspection gauge and the reference gauge so again the same workshop inspection and the general ISO nothing but a combination of these two workshop and the inspection that I'll tell you later while uh, while explaining the plug gauges and the ring gauges that in the plug gauges having in, in plug gauges we, we are having again go and no go it's very important so uh, in like that uh, we are in the ring gauges also we are having a go and no go while explaining these two we'll come to know the according to what is the purpose of using the workshop and the inspection gauges so uh, now now i will explain just uh, just i will explain the what what is that work, workshop gauges uh, uh, are, are designed as uh, these workshop gauges are designed as to keep the size of the parts near near the center line of the tolerance limit so near the um, to keep the size of the parts near the center line of the tolerance limit it is they are used by the machine operators to check the dimension of the parts as they are being manufactured so this is this type of gauges we can call as what workshop gauges so and in the inspection gauges these type of gauges used by the quality inspectors so this type of quality used by the quality inspectors which which can be used by the machine operators quality inspectors uh, inspector uh, at the final acceptance of the final acceptance stage of the manufactured component we are using the inspection gauges so in the workshop gauges the these type of gauges are used designed as to keep the size of the parts and uh, near the center line of the tolerance limit so it is been used by the machine operator and it is used by the quality inspectors and the reference gauge in this reference gauges this is also known as control gauges which are used to control the dimensions of the ring gauge which is used to control the dimension of the ring gauges for, and for checking the wear of the ring gauges i will tell you why how how the how it is used uh, used for the reference gauge see here for example if you are taking any hollow here in the uh, okay well uh, in the previous video i have shown this figure right so in this figure so for hole we are using a plug gauge one thing and for the shaft we are using a ring gauge and for hole we are using a plug gauge in this plug gauge why uh, the plug gauge is used, uh, this type of uh, uh, pl plug gauge is uh, here in the plug gauge we are having again two two, uh, two two types one is go type and the no go type go type nothing but what if you are if this is the hollow hollow workpiece if the plug gauge is moving move in the if this hollow hole uh, this one hollow cylinder all is hollow workpiece so in this in the hollow workpiece the go side will move easily and it will uh, it will rub the inner surface of the hole and it will uh, it will leads to a property of what it will uh, we can lose the hardness property also so to avoid that one material selection should be very important for the uh, while uh, while manufacturing the gauges that's also a one one uh, one of the uh, important concept that is high carbon steel we can use uh, use as a uh, material to manufacture the uh, this type of gauges why because it it, it can easily move uh, in and out no so once it will move and in note it can rub the surface of the hole at the bottom side also and also on top side also so it can, it may leads to some wear 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 property uh, it will leads to a wearness 
lose of awareness and it will leads to a hard uh, and leads to a property called hardenability or nothing but hardness property also it's very you have to uh, maintain uh, <coughs> for the this type of gauges so for hole uh, again in the terrier principle again the same figure we can explain for the shaft also shaft is nothing but for here see for the minimum and the maximum here in the go cage it, it can easily the shaft can easily move in between the the go gauge can be uh, move with uh, easily with a shaft in the maximum limit and, and for the no go no go gauge said it, it is not possible to move in the upper limit maximum limit said uh, so if I, by this reason we can easily uh, by, by 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 using this type of gauges we can easily uh, find out the which uh, which is the suitable and which uh, which is not suitable and which are the parts which are in the limits and which are not in the limits we can easily find out by these two these two type of the gauges and one more thing same uh, same here for the plug gauges if we, i already told you we are having it again go and no go type so uh, uh, taking example as a hole and a shaft hole is for plug gauge and shaft is for ring gauges again for the ring gauges again we are having go and no go side and for the plug gauges also we are having a go and no go size so in earlier in in this hole we, at the bottom side we are we can call it as a what go go type and at the top we can uh, use as a no go type and for the ring gauges in the top side we can uh, use as a uh, go and in the bottom side we can uh, use as a no go size why because see in the in the workshop in the workshop uh, gauges see here in the, in the workshop gauges in the upper and uh, limit why, why uh, where we are using the workshop gauge to keep the size of the parts near the center line of the tolerance limit to keep that one we are using for example if you, if you are taken 0. 0. <coughs> uh, 0.2 for example if you are taken as a tolerance if it is a it can be used for what 1 by 10th of the work tolerance so 1 by 10th of the work tolerance nothing but what again the same thing concept i will explain while designing the gauges again in the problems again we will come to know why, why we are using that 1 by 10 and the 1 by 100 so here uh, if the go side will if the go side will move in easily inside the hollow hollow work, work piece it may leads to what uh, wearness so to avoid that one we, we are leaving what wear alliance wear alliance has to be maintained very properly that the formula we can call as what if it is a if the uh, diameter of this gauge will be you can take it as x and and that the nothing but a, with respect to mm uh, that distance x x divided by 100 we can take it as a wear alliance and one by yeah, that distance with respect divided by 10 we can uh, take it as a work tolerance so here we can using a uh, user as an inspection gauge to check whether the uh, final acceptance stage uh, i already told you why we are using the inspection gauges in the general iso so we are in the so in the, in the current industry uh, in international organization for standards that is general iso iso we can use this type of gauges here the, this uh, general iso explains the combination of both inspection and the workpiece so you take the inspection from the, in the from the no go side inspection type and for the workshop uh, workshop side in general iso will take the go side from the workshop this x represent what this distance is represent what wear alliance wear alliance we can easily find out the value of the wear alliance while solving the design gauges you come to know again the what is the wear alliance explains same like that of if we go for the ring gauges for ring gauges we will keep the no go gauge in this side and go gauge in the this side this is very important for the hole upside will be no and bottom side will be go and for the ring gauges upside will be the go and bottom side will be the no go and for the go side again we are leaving the wear alliance uh, uh, wear alliance uh, wear, maintain the wear alliance with respect to our distance divided by 100 and for the no go side again same concept this is the vice versa of this one for the plug gauges and the ring gauges and the next one <coughs> again we, uh, i will explain uh, this is the main important concept is what taylor principle so what the taylor principle states that <coughs> according to the taylor principle go and no go gauge should be designed to check the check the maximum and minimum material condition so what is that maximum and minimum material condition again we will go through this uh, uh, figure so maximum and minimum, minimum minimum material condition means what if this is the hollow this one uh, hollow, hollow work piece the so the minimum limit will be the maximum material condition for the go limit we can easily the can remove the, the remove, remove the material as per the as per our requirement we can easily so so we are not supposed to take this maximum limit we have to take the minimum limit as a maximum material condition and for the same like that of the shaft so for the go side will be measuring what maximum limit so maximum limit will be the maximum material condition so this is very important so that is that is that only explains the taylor 
principle <coughs> to check the maximum and material many material condition so go side go side will uh, go side of the gauges also uh, go side will be explain what go side of the gauges correspond to the what maximum material condition that is the upper limit of the shaft and lower limit of the hole this is what the go side and the no go side gauge correspond to what minimum material condition where the lower limit of the shaft and the upper limit of the hole this is very important that is only explains the go and no go side uh, so finally uh, go plug gauges is the size of the minimum limit of the hole whereas no go uh, no go gauge is the size of the maximum limit of the shaft it is very important and uh, finally the taylor principle states that what go gauge should check all possible elements dimension so it check the go go gauge full check the what all the possible dimensions what are all the possible dimension nothing but what all the possible dimensions at a time nothing but what roughness roundness sorry not roughness roundness location size etc at a time and whereas the no go said only should check only the one dimension at a time one uh, for no go said it will check only one dimension at a time one dimension at a time so this is the concept to come under the plug gauges and the snap gauges see here in the in the plug gauges i already told you uh, the uh, <coughs> to for using for plug gauges are used to check for the cylindrical holes whereas uh, no no go uh, <coughs> nothing but a ring gauges we can use for the check, checking of the uh, uh, snap gauges or else uh, we can snap gauges are used to check the uh, for checking the shaft that's why it is also another name for a snap gauges we can call as a ring gauges i already told you in this figure so you can another name for ring gauges also snap gauge here snap gauge is also called a ring gauges so same thing so this is about the taylor principle and the classification and briefly explanation regarding the uh, gauge and no uh, different types of uh, uh, gauges and the taylor principle and uh, now we will discuss the what is the what is my, uh, what are the designs of conditions for the designs of the gauges while well, design of gauges <coughs> before going to the design of gauges Uh, one term we can uh, you can easily uh, we can uh, just go through the about uh, i will just briefly once again i will explain the what is the go gauge and the no go gauge so go gauge will explain what <coughs> if if suppose if you are taken if you are taken here for example if your go gauge so if you are taking any maximum any one component the but hollow component this represent uh, this dimension should be around 3.2 and this the dimension will represent a 5.1 component what the go gauge will help will explain the 3.1 and 5 nothing but what it is already discussed that the what the go gauge should check the all the possible dimension of the component at a time in one pass in one pass it can check all the uh, possible dimensions whereas the go gauge will pass through the hole it checks the what flatness squareness parallel in addition to the length of the width in one pass so this is for that reason we are using a go gauge if the corners of the component is not at a right angle then go gauge will not enter in the whole component even if the width and the length are exact so that can be shown in the this figure see here if the if both should be in the what uh, if the components are uh, if the components are not at the right angle 
then the go gauge is not enter the hole here hole of the compound even if the width and length are the uh, exact so there we are now, then there we can already discuss that the no go gauge should check only the one dimension only one dimension nothing but what width and length they can it can easily uh, check but uh, any variation flatness and squareness parallel we can, it is not supposed to find out in the no go gauge so no go gauge nothing no go gauge nothing but what here we are using in place of 3.1 is there uh, around in the in the no go gauge we will get a in no go gauge we will get here 5.1 as it is 5.1 in place of 3.2 is there no there you will get a like this we will mention so 3.2 so 3.2 i uh, know nothing but what here earlier we are using 30 plus or minus 0.1 or 0.1 right 30 plus or plus 0.1 means what 30.01 30 minus of 0.1 is what 29.99 so like that so this is a 0 0.2 0 0.2 will be the or uh, what tolerance so this is about the uh, different uh, types of the uh, go and no go gauge now i will explain now now we will discuss the what is the design of gauges and what are the difference between the tolerance and tolerances in the next video thank you